If you are trying to get into Canvas, the best way to do that is to open a new tab, type in www.besdfoxelderschooldistrict.net and go to that website there, students tab, and then go to class link. It's the best way to sign into all of your different accounts. So you'll click on the Canvas picture here with the red circle. And then class link should make its magic work. Sometimes it will tell you it's not the right one. Try one more time and it should work. So once you have done that, you can go and open up the class you are wanting to use. So all of your classes will be here on your dashboard. So I will use this one as an example. So let me show you what you will see when you log in. So first you'll open up that class. You will have your home page here, which is where it will always take you. So you can see on this one here that you'll have your class disclosure. So here it's going to tell you the things we're learning this year, how we do homework in this class, how life skills grades are calculated, how we do assessments, how we turn things in. So just all the general information is under this tab right here. So make sure you have read that and are familiar with that. Here you can see some information about how to contact me and just get to know a little bit about me. And then here you'll see additional resources where I will keep videos like this one will go here when I'm finished with it how to use Canvas. If you're in my math class, it will talk about how you can use our new math program and there will be more videos of things to come here. Over on the side, you can see that there are different things and things you need to do. So this little speaker tells you that there's an announcement you need to view. And then on September 8th, it tells you that there's this test you need to take. So it tells you what day you should have everything done by. You can also click on this view course calendar and it will tell you this same information in a calendar view. So it's a good habit to get in to check your announcements every day. So you will have a little blue dot when there's a new one. So this one here, when I click on it, says that each day you should get in the habit of checking for any announcements. They'll be posted here about things that are changing or things I'm noticing that we need to work on. So over here, you are going to find all of your modules. This is how we will be working through everything. So it tells you when you need it done by and lots of the things also won't open until that date. So if I try to open this, Oh, this one is open. So some of them might tell you that you can't do it until a certain day as well. So it'll be different things to mark as done or submit as you're going through Canvas. And then as you click the next one, you do that. So if I go back into my module, you'll want to make sure you're getting these check marks here to make sure you're completing everything so be sure to go in order and that will help you learn your best. So then there will be a few other things over here that we may use throughout the year. So I've just kept them here as an easy way to get to them. But everything you need should be in this module. So your home page is where you will find information about the course, announcements is anything new or that we're needing to change or talk about and modules is where you're going to do all of your work and it will just go straight down module by module. So one thing you'll want to be aware of is using your inbox in Canvas. So this is a great way. So sorry, I'm using a student view right now. Let me leave that. So this is a great way to communicate with your teacher. So if you click on your inbox, it will take you here, show you any messages that you have sent in the past. So if you want to make a new one, there is this little pencil button that says compose a new message. And then you'll select the course you want to send it to. So you can even put a little star by your favorite ones that 
You know, you need to communicate with your math teacher or your language arts teacher, whoever that may be. So you go and you click on that one and then it will, you can choose to send it to the teacher and that just will do that right there. So I'm choosing it to send it to the teacher. I can type in a subject, type in my message and send, and that's a great way to have all of your communication in one place. So each day you'll want to check announcements. You'll also want to check your calendar and make sure you have everything done for that day and also check for any messages that you may have received. If you need any help navigating your Canvas, please let me know.